だろうこの地では一体何がさあ天の裁きを受けるがいい教会の名においてやつを処罰する吹っ飛べ天に召され行くぞクリスタルのご加護があらんことは安らかに眠れファイナルファンタジーブレイブエクスビアス幻影戦争 KT7 up here Today, I will go over some highlights and give my thoughts on the upcoming unit, Bromwell. She is a very defensive unit that can easily reach over 100 defense penetration. She has ways to lower your opponent's damage output and can constantly heal herself. This is not my typical 140 showcase video, as my Bromwell is only at level 99. But I will go over the important aspects of her kit and show a couple of matches where I went up against her. Bromwell is a 70 cost dark unit. Main job Great Knight with Paladin and Dragoon as sub jobs. Her TMR is one of the best in the game. The stats are 330 HP, 12 defense, 15 luck and 6 crit evade. It is an accessory. The ability is haste and AP consumption down 25% when haste is active. A self haste TMR with 15 luck is awesome. Great for evade units such as H Lucio. AP consumption while hasted is perfect for units such as Ice Jaden. Also, this is the only non-limited haste TMR in the game. Her base HP is top tier at 3985. And her attack is in the top 10 at 420. Her agility is a bit low at 53, but her new weapon will give her an additional 8% agility. Typical 3 move, 1 jump, and has a jump plus 1 support ability should you need it. Her weapon type resistances are 15 to slash and strike. 5 to missile and neutral to magic. Has a minus 5 to pierce, but with the right build, it can be at a plus 65. She can wear heavy armor and helm. She is a 50 faith unit, and has 10 resistance to sleep, 50 to immobilize and 50 to berserk. Next, her mastery and 140 upgrades. Typical elemental buff, plus 15 defense penetration, and AP consumption down 10% for her. Her 140 upgrades are reaction block rate up 50, defense up 15. Plus an upgrade to her job level 25 attack, to include, dispel protect and absorb 50% of the damage done. Now her great sword. The general ability is defense penetration 20. For Bronwell only, she also gets, AP consumption down 15, agility up 8% and defense up 8. This plus her mastery, she will not have any AP issues. The assault type is the best in my opinion. Be sure to get at least 1 plus 5, even if you are not going for her. It is a good option for Heo or other great sword users that need more defense pin. Let's go over her main job support abilities next. Great Knight Mastery gives her 24% attack, 40 defense penetration, and 15 AoE resistance. She need to equip this at all times. She also has Unwavering Spirit, giving her 12 resist to pierce and missile. Her reaction ability has a 20% chance to proc, to lower all incoming damage by 30%. This is her best reaction ability. Next up her LB. It is an AoE attack up to 5 panels away. Before damage, increase her own defense penetration by 40 for 3 turns, then deals large damage. And lower target's defense and spirit penetration by 40 for 3 turns. This LB can do very good damage and increase her survivability by lowering opponent's penetrations. Very good. I am not going to go over all her abilities. I am only going to talk about her group buff and job level 25 attack. All her other abilities are the same as Winter Revies. This is her ability list, the order will be the same as Global. The only ability I am turning off is the Negation Order so that she will use a much better self buff and stop her from running around. Now her group buff, Instill Endurance. It is her highest AI priority buff. For 4 turns, increase the group's pierce resistance by 20, crit of 25, and grants them HP regen small. Bronwell will also get the following effects. Lower target's defense penetration by 30 upon hit for 3 turns, and a 3 times physical damage barrier. This is one of the main reason why people pulled for her, this ability will help Raph survive as well as herself. 
The barrier also plays very well with A2. Next her job level 25 ability. It is a single target attack and has a range of 4. Select two targets within range, dispel their protect and shell, then increase her own slash penetration by 40 for this attack, deals large damage, and absorb 50% of the damage done. That's all the abilities I am covering today, but I think that's good enough to paint the whole picture of her kit. She will be healing constantly, reducing her opponent's penetrations, and absorb their HP while doing very good damage. And of course a self-haze TMR is the biggest draw of this unit. Let's move over to her sub-jobs. From Paladin, she gets Holy Knight's protection, giving her more HP and defense. And Paladin's guard as reaction ability. She doesn't have courage but does have taunting blade. It could be useful if you are not running her alongside Raph. From Dragoon, she gets Dragoon lore for more HP and 20 healing power. Also, she has jump plus one when you need it. Dragon's Blade has only one range, don't use it. For her Dragoon abilities, she gets Dragon's Kin. I would recommend to turn off her negation order from her main job, so she will use Dragon's Kin instead. It is such a great buff, giving her attack up 42%, protect, crit rate up and reaction block rate up. The ideal turn order would be instill endurance, then Dragon's Kin. Next let's go over the vision card released right after her. The LC's solo mission. It supports great sword, dagger, katana, and book. The stats are HP 378, attack 141, and 3 defense. The party abilities are debuff reduction rate of 30, which is very good, 12 defense, and max HP up 25%. The bestowed are attack up 20% and crit of 8 of 5. This is a good card for Bromwell, the defense stat is much more meaningful to her, and it can help maintain her high defense stats against debuffs. However it is a sub card at best. Debuff reduction alone doesn't make it into the main slot. I haven't found any use of this VC so far. The supported units are shown here. It supports many dark units, such as Sephiroth and Bold Leela. But it doesn't support Raph. Moving on to her equipments and trust stones. Her unique great sword is the best weapon for her, as she is not supported by the Greater Demon VC. So chances are, she will only get one agility support from Vision Card. The 8% additional agility from her sword will make up for that. Brigandine is a great choice for 10 AoE resistance and 15% HP. The Maximilian Armor is arguably her best defensive item. She is very likely to have HP regen, so the 10% damage reduction will be active for a longer period of time. For her TMR, give her Agility or Keen Blade if you need it. Now her Espers. Anima and Dark Bahamu are very good for her. Master Coral is a great choice too. It has 20 Agility, Initial AP up, plus 15 Resistance to Strike and Slash. All the Tank Espers can be very good for her as well if you want to build her more defensively. Other than that, all the typical Slash base Espers can do the job. I highly recommend regular Odin and Sildra for more accuracy. Finally, her trust stones. I really like the shield or barrier set for her. More defense or spirit and healing power, great. The abilities I have with the equipments showing are listed here. Be sure to give her whatever ailment resistances that are relevant. For offense, either agility or aim. She is likely to have only one agility VC on a dark team. Aim is also good. Her accuracy is okay, aim set can help her land attacks against semi-evasion teams. Next up, Sample Teams. I will show 3 setups today, 2 Dark Teams and 1 Great Sword Team. On a Dark Team, her job is to increase Rafa's survivability by giving her HP regen and crit evasion, while Bronwell lowers enemies' penetrations and chain them down along with Sephiroth. Bronwell is on her Dragoon sub for Dragon's Kin, with Great Knight Mastery for more attack, HP, and AoE resistance. Dragoon lore for even more HP and healing power. In the current magic heavy meta, the defense up from Holy Knight's protection isn't useful. But it could be against physical teams. Main job reaction ability, Endure, for chance to lower all incoming damage. Vision cards are the typical dark setup. One thing I need to point out is Greater Demon does not support Bromwell. So I gave her Omega as a sub for 4% agility from the bestowed. Her penetrations are very high and she will deal good damage. 
some alternative VCs are listed here as well. Please keep in mind, her stats here only reflect a level 99 Bromwell. The second dark team is a magic team with Vivi and Raph. Everything is pretty much the same. Only I switched Anima over to Bromwell as her main, giving her 5 more agility. Instead of Dark Baja move for AoE resistance, I have the Royal Companion. Also, the other me card is on Vivi as a sub for higher magic damage output. The last team I have prepared is a great sword team with Astrius and A2. Bromwell's TMR is a great choice for A2. And I switched Bornwell's support ability to Unwavering Spirit for 12 Pierce and Missile Resistance. Deserter A2 VC has 16 Pierce Resistance, the Wish on a Winter Night has 10 as a sub. Plus regular Golem for an additional 25. Bromwell's job is to cast and still endurance to increase the team's pierce resistance. And A2 can protect both Astrius and Bromwell against barrier breaks. This is a fun team to run, it will be available in GL once Nier comes back. I have prepared a match using this team, we'll show it later on. Let's quickly look at her weapon group. Not much has changed since Astrius. The staff to bout connection is there. Bromwell could work with Soul and Shawls against certain elements. But I don't think she is a better fit than Rain. This is the third time I am writing my final thoughts on Bromwell. Her TMR is one of the best in the game. And the only non-limited haste TMR. An accessory that grants haste and AP consumption down is very valuable. It will be useful for a very long time. She as a unit has high defense and good damage. She well exceeds the cost 70 tag. Her job level 25 ability brings great single target damage. Along with Sephiroth's large AoE attacks, Dark are very hard to defend against. Her instill endurance will enable her to lower your enemy's defense penetration. Combining with her high defense and constant healing, she is difficult to deal with. She enables Wrath to tank longer in fights, and that's trouble for you opponents if they can't take out your tank. However, she is not a limited unit. She is not a must-have by any means, especially if you have Sephiroth and Vivi. I would strongly suggest to save your resources for Nier or Lucio instead. If you don't have an haste accessory TMR, it might be worth it to go for her just for that, if there is a 18k guarantee banner. If you decided to go for her, build up her defense, she can be very hard to take down. Now let's go to a few sample matches. I have not seen any Bromwell for quite some time. These were taken over two quick pick seasons a few months back. But they still show what she can do. This was taken back in August of last year. My strike team going up against Mono Dark with Bromwell, Raph, and Sephiroth. Bromwell first move, and still endurance on Raph and herself. Pierce resistance up, crit evasion up, and HP regen for 4 turns. And for herself, lower target's defense penetration by 30 upon hit for 3 turns, plus a 3 times 50% physical damage barrier. Second action, Dragon's Kin. For 3 turns, attack up 42%, protect, and increase crit chance by 25. Also, reaction block rate of 100 while protect is active. She is now fully buffed and ready to take me out. Bromwell took 2 hits and still have over 50% HP. Now that's her select 2 attack. Before damage, increase slash penetration by 40, dispel protect and shell. Then deals large damage and absorb 50% of the damage done. Recovered slightly over 4k health. Also lowered my Alaya and Alphonse defense penetration by 30. Yeah, this is usually how it goes when strike go up against mono dark. The second match of the day is from a quick pick season in October. 
Mono Fire against Mono Dark. Again she starts off with Instill Endurance on Raph and herself. This is such a good buff, not just because of the defense penetration down upon hits. The HP regen works very well with the Maximilian armor. However, the defense pen debuff is useless here. My reign has Vega's TMR, it is kind of a cheat code against high faith tanks such as Wrath and Dialdo. My opponent opted to use Bells over Dragon's Kin. The Berserk landed on the enemy RAF. That's her select 2 attack. Increase slash penetration 40 before damage, dispel protect and shell, and absorb 50% of damage dealt. Did very good damage to my rain. Bronwell is very good against a unit like Rain, who has very high AoE resistance but lower unit res. Bronwell is continuing the Dark Chain with Great Slash. A cross-shape AoE attack that breaks physical barriers, then deals damage medium. Select 2 attack again, she is still hanging in there. At this point she is just spamming her select 2 and absorbing my HP, trying to outlast her foe. This is Bronwell at her finest. She does not go down easy even against magic. I am preparing this video on January 14th of 2024. Hopefully this is the last time I have to edit her showcase video. Bronwell is a timeless unit because of her TMR. They can release her at any time, and her value will always be there. I have one more match to show after this. The last match of the day is taken hours ago. My great sword team with Astrius, Bronwell, and A2 going up against Mono Wind. Nier should start off with an amazing unit A2. I am almost done with her 140 showcase, we'll have it uploaded as soon as she is announced in global. Hopefully that won't be a reset today. My Bronwell here is only at level 99. So her instill endurance does not have HP regen and won't have the lower defense penetration effect. How are you guys liking Astrius? Him with Wrath and Alaya should be everywhere now. I forgot to turn off Bronwell's TMR skill so she used bells. That's a mistake. Should have used dragon's kin instead. Pierce type attack is not effective against my team. Both Bronwell and A2 have over 65 pierce resistance to start. That's great slash from Bronwell, but it didn't connect with Win Veritas. At level 99, I am expecting some misses. Okay, hopefully I get to publish this video in a few hours. Check out my near priority video if you haven't already. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.